baby dolls welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that i'm here giving you guys another makeup tutorial and i'm so like obsessed with this look and if you are too and you want to know how i slayed and beat this face how to look like a baddie during this quarantine okay so if you want to know how to slay and look like a baddie in the house during this quarantine <laughs> Go ahead and continue watching this video. I love you all and I hope all of you baby dolls enjoy this look. So let's get right into this beat. So um, I'm going to start on my brows first. My go-to, you guys know, is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And for my concealers, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going to use Honey and then I'm going to use a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible the shade Pecan. <music> you guys i said this in my recent makeup tutorial when i had the yellow hair i don't know if you guys watched it but i said this before about my brows i go very light with my brows when i'm doing light hair it's just a thing that i like to do i do not like to have brows that aren't you know i don't like to have brows that's too dark i kind of like stick with the dark brows with my dark hair i feel like with light hair it just doesn't match like but that's just me everybody have a preference with their makeup and that's one of mine so i try to fill them in light as possible and it just looks weird it just looks weird especially when you have thick brows like my brows are pretty much full and wide so i try my best not to you know make them too dark when i'm doing my hair so it's really up to you how you want to do your brows, but that's just me. And you guys, I'm using the Juvia Place concealer on top up here. I don't want it to be too light so it can have a halo effect when, when it's time for me to blend. And this is in the shade 14. So I'm just taking 14 up here. to do my other brows and then I'm going to come back on camera and we can start the eyeshadow okay y'all so I'm kind of upset about my eyebrows like I thought I was going to make them light but I end up going I end up making them too dark <sighs> so I'm going to have to just work with what I have I honestly do not like them <laughs> not for not with this hair but we gonna make it work it don't look bad but I want it to be a little bit lighter and, um, for this look I'm going to take my makeup revolution palette uh, integrity wild animal palette and this right here is a really pretty ass palette that I bought from Alta Beauty and I love it so much I think I want to take this pretty yellow shade first i think i want to take that y'all what y'all think but before doing that i forgot to blend out this concealer on the eye so let me blend out this concealer on the eyelid so that we can place on the eyeshadow and i'm not going to set my lids with my powder this time i'm kind of just going to leave the concealer sitting without it being set with powder and i'm just gonna go right in with the eyeshadow so uh like i was saying i'm gonna take this yellow it's there 
And since I, um, and since I didn't set my concealer, I'm kind of like... Now I'm going to take this orange, this orange shade right here. I'm going to take the brush I just had for the yellow, take a little bit of the yellow, and I want to make sure that both colors are blended. I kind of much, pretty much go back and forth. with my daily moisturizer and now I'm trying to figure out which foundation I want to do I think I just want to take my elf for this look uh, these are out outs so I don't even know why I don't have them in the fucking garbage maybe because I was hoping I can get some out but nah that's not gonna work okay so I haven't used this in a while I really don't use it I haven't used it since I did the review on it I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have this in F12.5. I don't forget how this really look. One thing I do love about this foundation is that it has a stick. Like, so nice. I can just, you know, glide it on my foundation. I mean, like, um, concealer. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out should I use my brush or my beauty blender. I use my brush for this. This foundation is a little light. I like to, I guess my color, but it's like it's giving me like a, it's just a little bit lighter than my color, if that makes sense. It's just a little bit lighter. So... I don't want to have a cast look, so I'm going to put my Kat Von D on top. This is Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and then Deep 71 Warm. I don't want to look, you know, I just don't want to look like I had a cast on top of this. It's just not going to work. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have used I even want to use as much of it. I want to put much on my face if I would have known that. Alrighty. Everything is going to come together, y'all. So, don't be scared. I definitely know how to blend and make things come together. So, no worries. I'm upset that I used that foundation. I should have just used something else but like I said we're going to make this come together don't worry about it on the camera it look a little bit more lighter in person it look like it's fitting me since I put the Kat Von D on top the Juvia Place concealer and I'm taking this in the shade 14 
for brighter areas i want to take the maybelline fit me and this is in the shade medium and i'm taking this right under my eye right here bridge of my nose for a full wear i'm going to take the l'oreal full wear concealer on top of this in the shade pecan and this shade is a little lighter too i'm just topping it on top because i like the consistency on this concealer a lot and this that's it for concealer you guys that's the only concealer i'm using now i'm about to blend this out <laughs> I'm about to set um, my concealer now. Um, where I put the concealer, that's where I'm setting. I'm using my Maybelline Ooze Setting Powder. Now, if you have watched my last tutorial, and I was talking about the new products I bought from Target, y'all know that their Urspawn is enough for me. I used to use that, and y'all, I thought I was going to be using that all over again sometimes, but that ain't it, boo. That Urspawn is not it. <laughs> No, I'm not using it ever again. This, um, this right here is some really good powder. At first, I didn't like it, but that's only because I didn't get the right shade in this powder. So now that I have the right shade, it's just like I, I'm obsessed with it so far. I love it. It makes my skin super smooth. It don't crack me under my eye. It don't make me look dry, so... This is it. If you guys have favorite um, loose setting powders, let me know down below. I want to see what everybody use. Okay? Everybody got to comment. Period. If you watch it. If you don't normally comment, comment today. And tell me what y'all use for powder. Y'all know that I have an issue with using certain powders. I can't use everything. I'm just not that girl that can just use any powder. And my face would be smooth like I'm just not it's crazy though I wish Okay, so now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me, and this is Matte Plus Pluralist in the shade Coconut 355, and I'm about to set around my face where I didn't set with this. Oh, no, nah, where I supposed to took for foundation, y'all, was Fenty. I was supposed to took this today for my foundation. I set it out in everything. It's right here on my face, and child, it's okay, though. So now I'm about to just blend out that that uh, powder I took for my concealer. Make sure that press that's pressed in and set. I'm not touching my nose quite yet until I'm done contouring. So now I'm about to contour. But first, before contouring, I need to take some color under my eye. I'm going to take that orange. And I'm going to take this red. This color right here, y'all, is so fire. Like, it's fire. Like, literally. So I'm going to take both of those and sweep that right under my eye. Like, smoke it out under there with these colors. my mascara to just give me a false lash down here to make it look like I have false lash 
Y'all know my little signature thing. If you're new, then this is something that I do. Just take my mascara and just make it a make it an illusion like I have a false lash. So yeah. So now contour. Let's let's sculpt this face. Okay. So I'm gonna take my um, black radiance, light to medium, and medium to dark. I'm gonna take the light to medium first, and then deepen up just a little bit with the dark it is dark so I always be careful with the medium to dark palette So now to tone this down, I'm taking my, my Murphy Mist because we need to tone down this powder. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Hydrate and Fix by Makeup Revolution. So now I'm taking my NYX Double Dare Blush. This is like some really pigmented blush, y'all. I haven't used this in a minute. But it's so pigmented. It don't look that pigmented on camera, but... And it don't look that orange on camera, but it's super... I don't know why it's looking like that. Because it don't look like that in person. Weird. Okay. It's called Double Dare, so you have to be double careful with this. Because, um... Your girl ain't trying to look like no double clown. Okay. So... It's a really pretty, oh, I took too much. It's a really pretty um, blush for the summertime. Uh, for my highlights, I'm taking my favorite go-to, which is my Maybelline Master Chrome. duck here I'm gonna take this color right here from this palette I'm taking this color right here it looks like a like a what is this it's a curious ass color but it's so pretty it looks gray then looks like a, a blue hue to it a silverish grayish hue I'm getting like a whole bunch of stuff so pretty though so so pretty okay so for the lips now y'all lips let me tell y'all because I'm supposed to use these lipsticks in my last makeup video when I was talking about the new products I bought from Target how did I miss using this in that video I'm supposed to use these Wet n Well Matte Mega Last lipsticks, and I'm looking at it like, damn, did I use this? I don't remember using this, and I surely did it because it's not open. I was just so confused and angry, like, wow, how did I miss using this in the video? So I'm about to use it today for y'all, and these used to be like my favorite lipsticks in high school. I used to use this one pink lipstick by wet n wild they changed the packaging but it's the same lipsticks i'm using my matte nyx lip liner in the color club hopper so um i have 
the shade in these lipsticks, Never Nude. Never Nude, okay? I'm always nude <laughs> in the house. Like, I'm, I stay naked, so. They should have said very nude or always nude or something. That would have been cute. And then I have Bear It All. So Bear It All is another one that I used to always use. I used to use the pink one. And then this one is a nude shade. Both of these are nude. And Bear It All is my favorite. So I'm kind of confused on which one I want to take. One nude is a little lighter and the other nude is much darker. Bear It All have a more like blush. Pinkish blush look. And then this one right here, this Never Nude, is like a cream. It's like a truffle. So this one is Never Nude. Then this one is Bare It All. So I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to take. I think I want to take the Never Nude today. And y'all, these lip glosses, this stays on all day. I used to always keep applying, but I really didn't have to because they literally didn't do anything. They literally didn't go anywhere. And then, on top of this, I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in, I believe, Fortune Cookie. Yeah, Fortune Cookie. If y'all are not up on the NYX butter glosses, I don't know what to tell you, girl. You need to get up on it because they are bomb. And y'all, this is really it for this look. And I am so, like, into it. This is a whole vibe. Y'all, yeah. this is such a cute ass look, and I'm so happy it came out so good. And as you guys can see, as you guys can see, the foundation came together. I told you, girl, I told you, I told you I can do it. Y'all may be wondering where this hair is from. I will try linking the hair review if I can find it. This hair was reviewed like. A year ago like months and months and months ago it's probably a year now since it's been up but I'll link it down below just in case you guys want to know about this wig where I got it from all of that and I am obsessed with this look it was pretty easy I only used two colors on the lid I really really enjoy doing tutorials where I'm not doing a lot in the video where I'm not doing too much because you don't have to go crazy or be super dramatic with doing the eyeshadow. But you can make the eyeshadow look dramatic if that makes sense. Like it may look like to to somebody it may seem like this, this look probably took forever. Like this eyeshadow took forever. Like you did a lot. But honestly I only took two shadows. Took my time and blended. And it looks fire. Tell me what you guys will call this look down below. Um, but since we in the house, in the crib, this is definitely a beat, a quarantine beat, okay? A quarantine beat, hella like a baddie in the house because I ain't going nowhere. I'm about to take pictures for the gram, okay? I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Share, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And become one of my baby dolls in this baby doll gang over here, period. Okay. So I'll see you baby dolls in my next video. Mm.